talked about uh, Gustav Serino. When you look at the last two, three seasons, he's been absolutely fantastic for you guys in scoring the goals and being active up front, supplying goals as well. What is going on with Gustav at the moment? I mean, you mentioned all of the injuries and the line at the medical center. He's not there. I think the biggest setback for, for Gaston, in my opinion, uh, one, he did not start pre-season with the team. He came very late. Uh, and that has not helped him to to really stamp his authority in the team because even when he gets opportunities as a substitute, uh, very few instances where he has come in and showed everybody that, hey, remember, Gaston is back. Uh, and at that time, unfortunately, now, if you want to really build him up, it means you are building him up at the expense of players that are looking very good at that stage, or Neo Mayema, or Kutumela, or Chambazwana. And it becomes very difficult. And I remember last season, when we finished uh, the season, Coach Steve Kondela made an example of every player has a responsibility to put himself into the starting lineup of the team for, for that such match beginning of the season. And you do that with your maintenance training and making sure that your precision is, is top. When, when you start, everybody starts at the same time. We, we work very hard to make sure that you stay within the team and you are not moving anywhere. And when you do that, you are helping yourself. Does he want to leave, Coach? Gustin, is he happy at Sundowns, as far as you know? I think he's happy at Sundowns because we've not had any offers of late of Gustin uh, being wanted somewhere. But uh, like we said even before in the technical team, if whatever, whichever club wants him puts what Sundowns is, is, is happy with, I don't think Sundowns will stop anyone from going away. And uh, even when, we, we, when the issue of Al-Ali was there, the issue was Sundowns was just not happy with what Al-Ali was providing because they felt it was not uh, any return to the value of investment that the club has made. To Castor. It was never an issue of the club not wanting to let him go. But did this cause some sort of unhappiness with Castor and you guys, uh, Coach? Because did he want to go and then the money was just not good enough or the value investment was not good enough? Was there some sort of then, you know, him not being happy because of that deal not happening? Uh, I don't think he would be happy. He, he, he's got a right to be unhappy. It's normal because maybe already your personal terms would have improved in leaps and bounds and all mm. that. But also the club must must benefit from the investment that they have put in. Uh, it, it's not one way traffic. It's not about the happiness of me as Mangoba, but the club is not happy in the process. The club mm. must must be, must say we are happy to let you go. We've let other players to go before. Why would we not let you go? But the return on investment must also. Speak volumes in that space.